family and friends in mourning tonight after the death of a seven year old Tucson girl who loved being a cheerleader for a popular youth football team. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Angelique Lazardi and I'm John overall tonight. Loved ones gathered for a candlelight vigil to remember Giselle Armenta who died after a car crash earlier this week. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fing joins us live right now from Manzanita Park where that vigil just wrapped up. Eric. You know, guys, I've covered a lot of vigils throughout my career, and tonight was certainly one of the most touching, no doubt about it. The seven-year-old was less than a mile from the park Wednesday on her way home, uh, or on her way here to cheerleading practice, went to the car she was driving and T-boned by another car. Now, this pain and grief so raw on this Friday night, tears and anguish at Manzanita Park. Her grandmother, Martha, was her guardian. She was greeted by so many in the community who offered a hug and a shoulder. Giselle remembered tonight as a smart, loving, and vivacious girl. She was a standout cheerleader for the Tucson Redskins. Her uncle and two of her coaches remembering Giselle's infectious, warm smile. When you coach a team and when you do everything for your team, you're a family and they're sisters and they, you, you work together to do everything and a part of all of our hearts is missing now. Just have to remember that we have to rejoice and just be thankful that we did get to uh, meet her and be a part of her life and her vice versa, we're a part of hers and we got to meet such a great young soul. She didn't call us uncle or auntie or tío and tío, she called us best friends. We were her best friends and our relationship was, was inseparable. Now, Giselle's family has set up a GoFundMe page to cover her funeral services, and we have a link to that GoFundMe page on our website at kvoa.com. We're live tonight on the southwest side. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.